Smush has gotten back together. After a dramatic breakup and years apart, Anthony and Ian have officially brought Smush back. So how did this all happen? And why is this so important? Well, on the 20th of June, the Smush YouTube channel posted a video titled, We Bought Smush. And the internet loved this news, as the video currently sits at 1 million likes. In this video, Anthony and Ian outline how they fell in love with creating videos, originally just for themselves. Although this type of content with videos like Real Death Note, My Magic Keyboard Changes Real Life, and Homeless Millionaire, these videos seem to resonate and connect with the viewer, leading Smosh to amass over 10 billion views and have a deep connection to everybody's childhood. Although, this story isn't all good. As in 2011, Smosh was approached by Defy Media to buy the Smosh brand for a large sum of money. But this is where the twist in this purchase comes in. Anthony Padilla ended up leaving Smosh thanks to this purchase, and in doing so, brought Defy Media down alongside him. Originally, in a video where he detailed why he left Smosh, he simply claimed he left for creative reasons, but when an article was published titled Defy Media Announces Total Shutdown, it seized operations effective immediately. Anthony saw it fit to post a video titled My Thoughts About Smosh Shutting Down. Here he outlined that not only was he unhappy with his lack of creative choices, but Now that Defy Media isn't a thing anymore, I just have to say everything that I'm feeling. I've been hiding it publicly for so long and I feel like I just have to get it off my chest and out into the world so people really understand what was really going on behind the scenes at Defy Media. We sold it for stock in the company. So I sold it for zero dollars. Selling for stock means that it's completely valueless unless that company goes public which it never did. This bad news from Defy Media had an instant knock-on effect onto Smosh, as they was now homeless. This was literally it for Smosh. They couldn't pay their employees, the channel couldn't continue on, and things seemed over. But suddenly, as if overnight, Retalink swooped in to save the Smosh company for $10 million. On March the 5th, 2019, Hecox was looking for a path that would allow him to keep Smosh alive. He says McLaughlin and Neil texted him around the time of the Defy shutdown, offering their help, but he didn't think much of it. A few months later, as the bank that had assumed the Defy assets was nearing a potential deal to sell Smosh, they reconnected. And although on paper this seemed like a good deal, Smosh could continue posting, the fans were happy, and the employees had a job, it still wasn't looking good for Smosh. Over the space of two years, Smosh didn't gain a single subscriber, remaining at 25 million. Yet, Anthony, the other half of Smosh, seemed to be thriving in the struggling period for Smosh. Anthony set up a channel defining series, I spent a day with, and despite his lower subscriber count, Anthony was dominating Smosh in views. And this is where it gets interesting. For years, Anthony and Ian had not been seen online together, until seemingly randomly, the Smosh channel published a video titled, Try Not To Laugh Challenge With Anthony Padilla, and instantly this was a hit. Then, just hours after this, Anthony uploaded a video titled, I Spent A Day With Ian Hecox, and after another viral video, Smosh posted, We Bought Smosh. Before we outline the deal between Mythical Entertainment and Smosh, as well as watch part of this video, the reaction to this news online was amazing. This is epic. No fucking way. This is sick. When you lose control of your brand to a corporation, that's usually theirs forever. That, that's in the books for life. So I think they got very lucky. I'm very excited to see what they make going forward. I do really wonder if the old Smosh style sketch comedy can do well in like a modern internet landscape. Because there's not a whole ton of that around anymore. 
It's kind of like a dying art form online. I've been pretty vocal. I'm not a huge sketch comedy fan in the first place. And now let's watch Smosh detail the deal they managed to obtain from Mythical Entertainment. Bot Smosh. We didn't know if this was actually possible, mm -hmm. uh, but we felt like we had to look into it and see if we could actually do it. So after months of negotiating and deliberating on whether this was a good idea or not. Yeah, we're just gonna change our entire lives. Yeah, who cares? That's it. Today, Anthony and I can say officially that we own Smosh. Yeah. This shit's baby. ours. It's ours, we bought it. I got the password. Yeah. We own Smosh now, and what you can expect on this channel is sketch comedy. So, how much was Smosh acquired for? According to the production company, Mythical released a significant multiple of its original invested capital and retained a minority stake in the comedy brand. This also means Rhett and Link will remain involved with Smosh in advisory roles, but the new ownership structure sees Daniel Tibbetts, the brand CEO, and Joel Rubin, the EVP, leave the company. Tibet said in a statement, the creator economy is about individuals having the power to build a lasting brand, in which creative and business acumen are driven from the creators themselves. But I also had another question regarding this purchase of the Smosh channel. How can Smosh survive in today's climate, and what type of videos will they upload? Well, if you search this online, Many different news sources seem to claim their first video being owners of Smosh will be published on the 30th of June. This is a comedy sketch. Then from here on out, every two weeks, Smosh will be publishing a comedy sketch. So what do you think of this? Because I'm super excited. Oh, and uh, please subscribe.